If you've just joined us, welcome aboard. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Our next stop will be the Transportation and Ticket Center, which includes Magic Kingdom car and bus parking. To the right is the Disney-created Seven Seas Lagoon. To the left is Bay Lake. Nestled on the shores of Bay Lake are Disney's Wilderness Lodge and Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Once again, if you're traveling to Epcot for Magic Kingdom car and bus parking, please exit here. If you need additional assistance, a host or hostess will be happy to help you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember to collect your belongings and take young children by the hand. As you exit, please lower your head and watch your step. Thank you. When boarding, please move all the way across your car to make room for everyone. Kindly offer available seating to those needing special assistance. For those of you standing, please get on the Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another electrifying episode, and we are here in Disney World, and on Brian's Storm YouTube channel, we are finally going to ride three Cavaliers, or three Cavaliers, depending on your origin, but um, this ride is apparently going to eventually close due to a um, movie named Coco, which I'm not happy about because this ride was pretty amazing. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight to it. This ride is closing. It's being replaced by another ride. A ride that I'd like to call Coco. Which is a new Latin movie coming out. And I don't think it's going to be that great, which is a big problem. Well, let's ride it one last time. One last time. The big people eating fake food. <laughs>
After that, we went to Club Cool, which um, I will cover in another video. And we also went to Electric Umbrella, which didn't really have much. Once again, it's raining. It's pretty terrible. Why, how many times? It's terrible. Hey, you have a hole in your poncho, dude. Ah! Where? He has a hole in his poncho. Oh, well. Oh, water's getting on this time. I don't remember that once. So my dad gave a 45 minute nap. So we hopped on over to the DVC member lounge because, well, it's for Disney Vacation Club members and we got a free freestyle machine and I can show you a couple drinks that it made on that. After that we visited the Coral Reef restaurant and last time the service wasn't so great. So this time I tried a ceviche salad. Is that mango sorbet on top of it? Anyway, um, I also ate this fish with mango salsa on it. And I finally finished the meal with the key lime tart, which is my favorite dessert. So if you feel like getting me one of those, that would be awesome. But you probably can't anyway. What is that guy looking for? I have no idea. Anyway, if you guys need last minute ideas for the triple elixir challenges, this deck got me all the way to 12 wins. Josh, 12 wins. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Ooh. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you will subscribe and good evening, good afternoon, and good morning wherever you are and whenever you are. Wow, look at how you're just incredible! Hold it right there. <laughs> Reach for the sky! I'm reaching! You're under arrest! Let's go, Give yourself up! Maybe the judge will be on here! I think it's time for a visit to a concession. Bye. Don't swing for this! Nothing to it! Nobody's sticking my neck in a noose! No!